There are all kinds of telescopes, but this video focuses on those that stand out for their excellent value for money. To do this, they must offer something that makes them stand out from others of a similar cost, whether it be better optical quality, a more stable and precise mount, or a complete and useful accessory kit. Factors such as aperture, weight, or ease of use are also important. You don't need to compare or search any further because all of these features have already been analyzed for you. You will have the link to all the telescopes in the video description. Number 1. Skywatcher EVOSTAR This is a telescope that stands out as one of the best options for those who want to start astronomical observation without complications and with an excellent value for money. This model combines features that are usually found in more expensive telescopes, but at a price that makes it accessible to beginners. Its optical design is an achromatic refractor, with an aperture of 90 mm and a focal length of 900 mm, make it an ideal tool for observing planets and the moon with surprising clarity. From lunar craters to Saturn's rings and Jupiter's bands, this telescope offers stunning views for those taking their first steps in astronomy. One of its great advantages is its altazimuth mount, which is extremely easy to assemble and operate. Unlike more complex mounts such as equatorial mounts, this one allows intuitive up-down and left-right movements, making it perfect for beginners. It also includes slow motion controls that make it easy to track moving objects such as planets or the moon. Another advantage is that this mount also makes it versatile, allowing it to be used for terrestrial observation, whether to explore landscapes or spot wildlife, which adds extra functionality. The telescope includes two 25 and 10 mm eyepieces that provide 36 and 90 magnifications respectively, along with a 6x30 optical finder and a 45 mec prism that correctly orients images for terrestrial observation. Although the included accessories are basic, they offer a good initial experience and there is always the possibility of upgrading them later. The optical quality of this model is one of its greatest strengths. The images are sharp and clear, ideal for observing the details of celestial objects. However, as with most achromatic refractor telescopes, it may present a slight chromatic aberration, that is, a faint colored halo around very bright objects. This is not something that significantly affects the experience, especially for beginners, but it is a detail that some more demanding users may notice. Assembly is quick and easy, even for those with no previous experience with telescopes. The first time it can take about 20 minutes, but with practice this time is considerably reduced. Another point in its favor is that, as it is a refractor telescope, it does not require frequent adjustments such as collimation, which makes it even more comfortable for those looking for ease of use. Its robust and stable design minimizes vibrations during handling, although with a weight of around 12 kilograms, it could be somewhat heavy for those who need to transport it frequently. It's important to mention that it doesn't include a carrying case, so purchasing an additional one may be necessary if you plan on moving it around regularly. This is a fantastic choice for those looking for an affordable, practical, and high-quality telescope. Its ease of use, its ability to provide detailed views of the moon and planets, and its versatility for terrestrial observation make it a very complete model. Although it has some aspects that could be improved, such as the basic quality of the accessories or the lack of a manual in Spanish, these details do not overshadow its many virtues. Number 2. Slow Key this is an ideal option for those looking to get started in astronomy without investing too much, but with the confidence of acquiring a practical and high-quality product. This telescope is cheaper than the previous model and stands out for its compact design, its ease of use, and an accessory kit that makes it a true all-in-one for beginners. Being the cheapest model on the list, the number of features it offers for its price is surprising, from a 70mm aperture to a Barlow lens that multiplies the magnification of the included eyepieces. The first thing that stands out about this model is its portability. 
Weighing just 2 kilograms and with small dimensions, it is perfect for easy transport in its included case, ideal for excursions into the countryside or for using it in different places around the house. This telescope is not only lightweight, but it is also incredibly easy to assemble, making it suitable even for children and absolute beginners. In less than 5 minutes you can have it ready to start exploring the night sky. In terms of its optical capacity, it offers a magnification ranging from 16 to 120 times thanks to its 225 and 10 mm eyepieces and the 3x Barlow lens. This magnification range is more than enough to enjoy clear and detailed views of the moon, as well as to observe planets such as Jupiter and Saturn. Although you should not expect images worthy of an observatory, its fully and multi-coated lens guarantees good light transmission, bright colors and a considerable reduction in reflections and chromatic aberrations for its price range. The telescope comes with several accessories that make it even more appealing. A mobile phone adapter will allow you to capture images of what you observe, something that adds a fun touch to sharing your discoveries. In addition, the gray 45 degrees diagonal prism corrects the orientation of the images, which also makes it suitable for terrestrial observation. Its adjustable tripod, although lightweight, is functional. And with the trick of hanging a weighted bag, you can significantly improve its stability during observation sessions. However, the slow key does have some limitations. For example, it is a basic telescope, so it might fall short if you decide to take astronomy more seriously. The tripod, although practical, is not the most robust and could be an area for improvement for those looking for more advanced equipment. Also, although the Barlow lens is a nice addition, it is not the most sophisticated, so some users recommend changing it for a better quality one to get more out of the equipment. Despite these limitations, it is an excellent option for beginners or as a gift for children interested in exploring the sky. It offers a complete experience from observing the moon to taking your first steps in astrophotography with a mobile phone adapter. For its price, this telescope stands out as an option that combines accessibility, ease of use, and more than acceptable quality. Number 3. Bresser Measure this is a Dobsonian reflector telescope that combines a large aperture with a reasonable price, positioning itself as an ideal option for both beginners and amateur astronomers. Its simple yet functional design and the quality of its components make it an excellent example of the value for money that characterizes Dobsonian telescopes. This model, with a 130mm aperture and a high-quality parabolic mirror, allows you to observe impressive details of the night sky, from star clusters to galaxies and nebulae. One of the great advantages of the measure is its ease of use. Since it does not require a tripod, this telescope mounts directly on its wooden base, which simplifies setup and reduces the overall cost of the equipment. You just need to place it on a flat surface, such as a table or bench, and it will be ready to use. Furthermore, since it does not require constant disassembly, it is always ready to observe. This simplicity makes it a practical and accessible option for those who want to get started in astronomy without complications. In optical terms, it stands out for its parabolic mirror, an uncommon feature in telescopes of its price range. This type of mirror reduces the optical aberrations that spherical mirrors usually present, offering sharper images with better contrast. With a focal ratio of f5, this model is designed to capture large, low-luminosity celestial objects, such as nebulae or galaxies, providing wide and detailed views. The telescope comes with a very complete accessory kit that includes two 25 and 9mm Kellner eyepieces, offering magnifications of 26 and 72 times, respectively, a bright spot finder, a lunar filter, and a solar filter. The latter is a great addition, as it allows you to observe the sun safely, a rare possibility in telescopes of this price. It also incorporates a compass and bubble level for easy orientation, although some users have noted that the compass can be inaccurate. Despite its many advantages, the Bresser Measure 130 is not without its limitations. 
Its Dobsonian design means that it lacks a tripod, which may not be ideal for those who prefer a more versatile or adaptable telescope. Additionally, the dot finder and some of the components, such as the collimation screws, could be improved to offer a more comfortable and accurate experience. In terms of portability, the telescope is relatively compact and lightweight, weighing just under 10 kilograms, making it easy to transport and suitable for use in different locations. Its optical tube is also compatible with other mounts, making it a versatile option for those looking to explore astrophotography or upgrade their equipment in the future. Number 4, the Celestron Power Seeker. This reflector telescope is designed for those looking to get started in astronomy with an affordable and complete tool that includes an equatorial mount. With a 127mm aperture and a 1000mm focal length, this model promises a versatile experience that combines planetary and deep sky observation. It is an excellent option for beginners who want to learn how to use an equatorial mount without spending too much. The first thing that stands out about the Power Seeker is its equatorial mount. Although it is a basic mount, it serves its purpose by allowing more precise tracking of the movement of celestial objects. Equatorial mounts are less intuitive to use than all tacumulus mounts, but once you get the hang of how they work, tracking stars, planets, and other celestial bodies becomes much more comfortable, especially for extended observing sessions. This telescope is a good entry-level telescope for those looking to learn how to use this type of mount. The accessory kit is quite complete and includes two eyepieces, one 20mm and one 4mm, a Barlow lens, and a finder scope. With these features, the telescope offers a good range of magnifications, from 50x to 750x, although the practical maximum is much lower, around 250x, due to the limitations of the optical design. This magnification range is sufficient for exploring craters on the Moon, Jupiter's bands or Saturn's rings, as well as for getting started in observing star clusters and nebulae. In terms of portability, it is relatively light, weighing 8.6 kilograms, making it easy to transport. Its compact tube is ideal for those who have limited space at home or want to take it to different places to observe. However, there are some limitations that you should be aware of. On the one hand, the mount, although functional, is basic and can be less stable at high magnifications or during prolonged sessions. On the other hand, the Burt Jones design, although practical for keeping the tube compact, does not offer the same optical quality as a traditional reflector with a parabolic mirror. This can be noticeable when observing low contrast objects or at high magnifications. You'll find links to all the telescopes in the video description. I hope this helped you make an informed decision. See you soon.